Hilarious. A little dramatic, but I mean, well, especially how much, you know, depends on how many blankets you have. If you have a down comforter, it's much warmer. But you know, there's only so many blankets you can take off and you're still sleeping in 82 degrees. You I, know? Yeah. Not, I like to be cooler at night. Yeah, me so too. So that way you can kind of cuddle up. Right. Because even when it's warm, I still want a blanket on me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't be blanketless. Agreed. Yeah. You know, it's just Agreed. not as comfortable. Yeah. Because like, I'll be like, oh man, it's warm. My husband will be like, take the blanket off. And I'm like, like, no. no. <laughs> Magic. It's don't fine. learn. I know. Right. <laughs> well, we are going to want to leave the blankets off because mm -hmm. we could actually be 82 outside today. Oh, yeah, okay. we're looking at upper 70s to low <laughs> 80s for our daytime highs. So a little above normal. 76 is where we should be this time of year. And actually, the last two days we hit that right on the nose at SeaTac Airport. And today we're going to be a little bit above normal. But tomorrow it's going to completely change once again. We just can't keep like you know, more than a week's worth of, you know, consistent weather, it seems like. Um, but as we take a look at our satellite and radar, really quiet over us. We do have some high clouds moving in out ahead of this front that's going to be pushing on shore. The coast obviously going to see that first starting tonight, later tonight. And then everyone else will start to see that tomorrow morning, the uh, the showers anyway. So as we put the clock into motion, you can see for the rest of today, looking very nice, very quiet, lots of sunshine. Then notice as we go into the overnight, the coast will start to see those showers moving in, as well as the Olympic Peninsula. And then into the early morning commute, we'll start to see, uh, and even the later morning commute, starting to see those showers pushing farther inland. On the back side of the front throughout the afternoon, we are expecting just some scattered showers. So the bulk of this does look to be a morning situation depending on if this timing changes. It could be earlier, could be later, but right now for the Puget Sound region, it looks like more of a later morning um, with the coast and the Olympic Peninsula seeing it very early in the morning. So we'll continue to watch that uh, tune back in this afternoon and evening to kind of get uh, reassurance on that timing. But what I would say is plan for wet roads in the morning and give yourself a little extra time. I've got you covered on the traffic tomorrow, so tune back in. Okay, so then as we go throughout the afternoon, again, just a few lingering showers and even possible into Thursday morning, but by Thursday afternoon, we're already clearing things out. So here's a look at uh, this is just one model's interpretation of how much rainfall we're expecting. A lot of the models, though, expecting anywhere from a half of an inch to an inch along the coast with a quarter of an inch to half an inch farther inland. But you can see that this particular model, the wharf model this is the UW high resolution model, which is usually pretty good. This is talking about anywhere from two tenths of an inch to a half of an inch farther inland with uh, three quarters of an inch in parts of the coast. So we'll just have to wa wait and see. All in all, what we're telling you right now is we're looking at a good amount of measurable rainfall. OK, temperatures outside right now are warming. Yes, very nice. We've got some upper 60s to about mid 70s. And you can see the temp temperature difference from this time yesterday. Bremerton, you are nine degrees warmer, as well as in Chehalis. Renton, seven degrees warmer. Seattle, you are five degrees warmer than this time yesterday. And it's time for Fido's forecast to get you through the next several hours. And this is Lizzo and Chief. How adorable. Look at those little ears. And then look at that tongue. They are ready to play outside. It's going to be a great day for dogs and humans alike. So as we go throughout your afternoon, again, just partly cloudy skies with temperatures approaching upper 70s to low 80s. Your mountain forecast looking great as well, mostly sunny with temperatures at past level in the upper 60s to about mid 70s and light winds with a freezing level of 14,000 feet. So here is a look at your seven day forecast. Look at how we just drop off tomorrow mm. with that front upper 60s, lower 70s, but then we're already clearing things out on Thursday, warming back up by the end of the week. Uh, chance for a stray shower uh, up towards the north on Saturday mm. uh, north of Seattle, but still looks like a pretty good weekend overall. All right. Like the sound of that. Jordan, yeah. thank you.